On the white spoon. <laughs> My goodness. Look at the screen. She's pretty. They're bass everywhere. Triple, triple. Come on, Bill. Let's see, is he on there? Yeah. yeah. Hey. Oh, I gotta get back in the water. Bill, show me off. This fish. <laughs> I had a stroke and I was completely paralyzed on my right side. I could not move my right leg or this right arm at all. I worked out hard every day and in my resting time I would watch a lot of YouTube and I run across a guy named Mike Smedley and golly I got to watching his videos it made me want to go fishing so bad it made me work even harder and harder and it's because of Mike Smedley and old school uh, striped bass fishing that I'm where I'm at right now because there's too many fish to be caught to give up and just sit on a couch and look at where I'm at now Current looking through here. No doubt. So, gentlemen, how are we doing today? Good, guys. How you doing? Good. Good. Pull me in here. Rusty, how you doing? Rusty, nice to meet you. Rusty, Mike. Mike. Rusty. Take your time, sir. Yeah. Just give him a few minutes and he'll be just fine. He's been, he's been looking forward to this, so he's like, great to see you guys. It's good to see him. This is John. This is John. Now, is, his, is his real name Tours? No, that's, that's his, his no, nickname. No, sir, the Yankees the the called me that because I went to war twice and was married yeah, twice. Yeah, I knew so. that. I've seen him. <laughs> and married <laughs> twice. <laughs> How you got you, brother? Yeah. How you doing, sir? You're I'm Eric. How are you? Nice yeah. to meet you, finally. And you're the one that carries the lures around in. Yeah, uh, yeah, I got, yeah, 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 that's me. Oh, God, you guys awesome. don't don't know what this means to me. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you've seen our, uh, the rods, my signature rods yes, that I Rich have. Coulson makes. Yeah. Well, he saw your video, and he wanted you to have one. <laughs> it's got your name right on it and everything. It's the only one in this color because you fish for the redfish and the trout yeah. down there. Yeah, yeah. I don't look know, at that color. It's it. beautiful, right? <laughs> yeah. So, no way. It's a rain shadow. This is the baddest of the bad. Rich Colson made that. He paid for it and everything. Well, feel that. I'll lighten that up. Nice, right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Rich. Man, that's yeah, I'll send him. I'll send him a clip. He's a such a good guy. Me. I got something for you. You guys know this too. guy. You know this guy. I know this one. Bill. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> good to meet you, sir. Finally. Tommy, how you doing? Bro? I am well, sir. I'm well. Look, uh, you, you look missed, fantastic. You missed things. You missed the intro. And since I had that stroke. I, I can't control my emotions and okay. I cry for no reason. It's okay. Just like and my I, wife. I laugh for no reason mm -hmm. and I might get mad for no reason. Just <laughs> me upside the head and say, wait a minute, I'll straighten out. I went back to the very first video Mike ever made and I watched mm. them all. I seen this guy coaching football. Yeah, that's right. Yep. I sure wow. Did. wow, you I went sure really did. Deep. I yeah. watched them all. Awesome. Man, it, it, they mean so much that's to me. And guys, if y'all don't know, are you recording that? <laughs> I had this show uh, just a little over a year ago. <laughs> you going to have to do a lot of edits. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> and I was completely paralyzed. My right leg and my right arm would not move at all. Mm. And it even made my left side in all week. I don't have the strength I used to. My, my insides is hard to breathe. It messed up my 
uh, swallowing. You have a flap in there mm. to keep stuff from going down the wrong way. Every time I drink or eat, I let it choke. But wow. thank God I didn't have to go on a feeding tube. And I spent a month or so in the hospital. I said, I got to keep working out. I can't just quit. Yeah. And so I would exercise and, and, and of course you get tired real quick. I wake, I wake up tired. But I said, man, I got to keep working because there's too many things to be doing. I love the outdoors. Mm -hmm. And when I, when I would rest, I'd sit there on my phone, whoops, watch a lot of YouTube. And that's when I met you, or come to see your videos. And man, they meant so much to me because I see you guys out here having fun. And I said, I got to keep working to get to where I could do that. When I first started out, I remember the days when I'd hold my, this is my best hand. Mm -hmm. And I would sit here and tell my move finger, move. And I get a, a little twitch like that was all in the world I could do. And I work at it, I watch your videos, I work some more. The other day I lay down on the back, on the floor, and took a 25 pound dumbbell. Yep. I think I sent that said, to you. Yep, you sure did. So I've come a long ways, and uh, I got a long way to go. I look a whole lot better than I am, but there ain't never been nothing wrong with my no. looks. <laughs> but I'm so thankful that God let me keep my sense. Right. I still know my brother here, Rusty, y'all mm -hmm. met, and mm -hmm. my family, and I know you guys and stuff. I'm so grateful for that. But at the same time, that stroke, I, I know it didn't make me a little bit crazy, but, <laughs> you know. But I- I'm I, not I, judging. <laughs> but I think we're all family now. Give, yeah. me a, give me a blue one, Rusty. Give me a blue one. My wife, I'll, I'll plug her, but you can edit it out if you need to. <laughs> she has a, a print shop. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm a poor man, I ain't got much money, but I want to make something for these guys. Uh -huh. And with her help, I got something here. The captain, you're going to have to read it. I can't. Okay. This is to certify that Captain Mike Smedley and Old School Fishing Team attain the exalted status of the world's best fishing team and are hereby authorized to exercise all bragging <laughs> rights and privileges thereof for inspiring this stroke survivor to get back on the water. Love you guys, me. That's oh, crazy. Wow. That's fantastic, Will. So I got That's amazing. I got one for all you guys. If you want to throw them in the truck to yeah. keep them from getting well, wet. I got a dry box right in here. Have I'm going to lock okay. them up. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's amazing. Look, That's probably the coolest thing I think I've, I've ever seen in my life. Thank you, sir. <laughs>
lot easier to find bait than it is stripers most times. You can find bait, start fishing there, just get a line in the water, learn from there. The stripers are all in here chasing that bait. Fish where the food is, right? Yeah. You know, I don't know what that I mean, is, you know, I don't talk much on, on the little that. snappers. I'm not here to fish. Yeah, somebody <laughs> said in the last one, Tommy does talk. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. He said something, I don't know what it was, but he does I'm a, I'm a shut up and fish guy. <laughs> well, he's, he's a concentrator. He's up there. He's saying he's focused. <laughs> Oh boy. Finally got to meet this guy here. I've been looking for this for a long time. We have a ball. So we were supposed to fish yesterday and it was a dead eastern blow. Oh man. Right east. I mean there wasn't a little bit of south or north in it. It was coming right off the ocean. If you know about the Raritan Bay, it's basically a cove off the ocean. So yeah, 20 knots out of the east, it can be pretty darn treacherous. Oh. Okay. Today is a better day. So they, they, they flew all the way up Mississippi and they had to spend a day and a half in the hotel. Yeah, he's right there. Those, that, I didn't mean to touch it. You just hit the X anytime. That, those are big fish. Yeah. Those are substantial fish. All right, so we got a spoon ready to put down. because. So when we stop, we're marking a lot of scattered fish. They're not spooled up because the tide is uh, slack right now. It's really important as soon as you stop, someone drops a spoon quick because all come to the boat as long as you've got a spoon right, down. Okay. If you're by yourself, throw a spoon over the side, stick the rod in the rod holder and just let it dangle. Just get it down there quick. You'll, you'll see them come right through the boat. Oh boy. Okay. Slack tide, so we probably will have the wind. On the port side, it should move us pretty quick. So if you got a spoon, let's drop it. Drop that copper baby down there. Good, John. Look at that. Wow. So what happened is, you can see how there's none here on the left. Yeah, I, watch. Once they start jigging, you'll see them all come up here on the really? left side. Yeah. Let's get these gentlemen in the water. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're down oh, there. Here's a rod set up. We'll be on the port side. This is uh, Tim's. See the rod here? It says Crusher on it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, that that's a cool strike. What I Look say? at that, you sure did, you called it. Said they'd be on the left side, right? You called it, there is... they are. Rusty, look at this. Actually, get a line over, Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. I watch uh, TV, you fish. Bill, come grab oh, right that rod there. And I'm gonna get these rods out of the way. I think I need to sit yeah. to do this. Yep, sit yeah. absolutely, sit right in the corner. How about if you right, yeah, right on the corner, there you go. You set, your drag is already set, right. so you're good. So that's just the in and out right there. Oh, so you don't need to pay for this therapy. Wait a minute, you got one that can hook it, and but one that can't land it? <laughs> well, what you do, whoever your hooks it, hand it to the one that can't land it. Your, your brother and I are about to switch off. I'm going to put a hook in <laughs> But you know what? I got a hook in the water. <laughs> Oh man, who ever thought I'd be able to do this again? You did? You did. <laughs> I guess you may. Right. You did, because you put the effort in to get it to a point where you can do this again. I guess you're right. Without that effort, you wouldn't be here right now. I don't think I can. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, these are big fish. All right, now, now's the time to stay frosty because you'll get a hit when he's. Okay. It turns them all on, so. Yeah. So really, that's it. Really pay attention because you'll feel that tap. That's a good one. I think it's shaking. It's just the wrong end, so. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a good fish, Captain. Yeah, it's nice, solid fish in here, man. I tell you, when Rich built this rod, it was like he was here and knew what the fish were going to do. I've never, and it's probably the best reel I've ever used, but 
to look at this rod, you wouldn't think he could do this to a fish this size. What color spoon is that? The gold? The gold, yeah. The gold. Where are you, old girl? There you are. A fat little girl. Ooh. -hoo. All right. Look at them all down there. See, they're hanging right that that bait right in there. Oh yeah. So he had, he had two fish on gold, so we're going to put gold on them all. Good looking fish. So, live and prove, catch and release. Oh, you're okay. You're, you're, you're fine. Good job, John. Thank you, sir. Job, Thank you, Captain. All right, there's a box here. Filled uh, with those gold ones. Uh, yeah, no, I gotta get my fingers in on the gold. That seems to be the ticket. Pass them around. Lots of fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. There's a snatcher, guys. Get your guns. <laughs> it's about to go off. Double barrels. Wow. It's about to pop off here, boys. It's about to get fishy. Set them down. Set them down. Punch. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's a snatch on a half. What did I say about building a fleet, Bill? Here they come. Here we go. Here they Tommy's come. on, baby. Get him, Tommy. Tommy's hooked up? Yeah. Tommy's hooked up. What you got there, Tommy? I think it's a fish. I think it's a fish. It's a good one, too, it feels like. Oh, he's coming at me. Oh. Coming at me. <laughs> coming right for us. He's either very smart or very dumb. He's down to the boat. I think he's down to the boat. All over the screen. Yeah. We had some. We had a few boats pass. We were all there by ourselves. Yeah. Hey, we oh, let's go. Rusty's there we hooked go. up. Double double. All right, now a triple. You're right in the middle here. Yeah. I mean, Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So you're. Were oh, you under him? Okay, you're under. Okay. Just put it in gear to keep him. Just gotta put it in gear, Tommy, because his his fish is going back there too. So, Let's see if we can turn it into a triple. Woo! be quiet. Jeez, Tommy, you took a lot of line. Yeah. Jeez, Tommy. Oh, 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 let it go. Drop it down. Drop it down. It was almost. Oh, it's triple. You know what I do? What's going on here? Keep fish are swimming with it. Crank, 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 crank. Swimming. Yeah, just crank fast. Let's see. Is he on there? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that, Bill. That's all right. That's all right. You stay right the rail like you're at. He was swimming with it. He's like, what's going on here? I'm it's coming at me. I've done this once or twice. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Good job Bill. <laughs> it shows. His son did the same thing yesterday. He lowered it and it wouldn't yeah. go down. Yeah. It's like some yeah, fish has got it. Triple oh, come up. up. Come up. Put it back down again. Good. See if you can catch another one. See if you can yeah, hit three come of them. Alright, I'm coming in. He's still out there, Mile. <laughs> Look at this. He's got a good one. Tripled up. Oh, look at the screen there. Where do you so, need me? Who needs me? Uh, yeah, you might need help with the bell. All right, Bill, you can still do it. They're hot and heavy next to you. <laughs> Normally, I just like, when it's like this, I'll go to the bottom, reel it up, go to the bottom, reel it up. You know what I mean? Just keep doing that. I, mean, I won't even pump it. Not. Yeah, squidding. Have you said squidding? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say that before. I don't know if you guys use that term there. Yeah, just squid it. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's about a 15 pound bluefish. Look at the size of that bluefish. Oh, look at the one behind him biting his tail. Just see the size of that bluefish. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, son. Don't pull oh, yeah, that. What have you got, Tommy? Striper. That's a nice fish. Have my hook there we up. go, baby. Bill's hooked up. There we go, hey, baby. You want to give me a hand? I got you. Yes, sir. You got it. He hit the teaser, bro. I know. He hit the teaser. Oh, man. Of course. Awesome. Of course. Yes, sir. Look at this. Damn. Gotcha. 
I was wondering if that teaser was gonna work. Eric, look, bro. He hit the teaser. Beautiful. I'm stoked because we put these on. Holy moly. Look at this fish. <laughs> Hell, I can't get back far enough to get them all in there. Oh, thank you, Cam. <laughs> I put her back. He hit this little all-pro teaser. So we had some days where they wouldn't hit the spoons, and I figured I'd put a teaser on and see what happened. And this big old girl <laughs> whacked so it. She she won. <laughs> Stay with me. Oh. That, that blue fish we just had? Had to be all of 16 pounds. Yeah, that was a big fish. Ready? It's yes, you. sir. And there she goes. Job, bro. Into the chocolate. Watch video cam. Hey, right. hey Bill. Let me get Bill. Take the camera. All oh, school. Bill, quit smiling. <laughs> I ain't. John, well, you might grab me uh, Hey, Tours, I've been smiling for three months. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting on this. Well, the goal, the goal is to keep smiling for the rest of your life. <laughs> Come on, baby. There's a T. Oh, yeah. Here we go. There's a good bass. It's a good bass. Hang on. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. That's another thumper. Dang, Bill. Mike, let me back up. Help you out. Keep your line tight. Keep it tight. All right. She's mine. Oh, yeah. That a boy. I'm get you some slack, Mike. I'm coming back a little. <laughs> oh, I gotta get back in the water. Bill, show me up. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. Tommy said we're gonna Woo! have to do some editing. Hey, he Bill. was getting showed up. Bill, like 20 bucks a piece. There you go. Oh, Good job, man. Bill. Thanks, Captain. If, if you're feeling up, you will put it back down unless you want to take a breath. I'm thinking... I wouldn't put it. I wouldn't. If you take a rest, take a rest. Uh, yeah, it's green. Get it back down there. Get uh, rest. Woo! Hooked up? Yeah, I figured. Uh, let's see. We are stacked up on them, boys. Stack. Off right, Eric? Drop them. Drop it down. Yeah, swivel on that food. Might have been a bluefish. Oh, oh. Might have been a bluefish. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. Somebody right after me. Tommy's hooked, hooked up. up. Yeah, they're, they're bass everywhere. They're bass everywhere. I'm hooked up. Yeah, we're all there. Triple. Triple. They're busting on top of the water. There's a bass. That's yeah. a bass. Oh yeah, these are all bad, baby. I see him blowing up. Want to take his picture, Skip? What you got there, Thomas? Hopefully it's a bass. I'm pretty sure it was on the bottom. Yeah, if it's a triple, it's a bass. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Johnny, you your boat? Huh? Yeah. He, he was, and then he got good looking to it. Yeah, Harry's <laughs> 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 Hey, something's wrong with y'all's pose. They bend it over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, man. Look at here. Look at here, bud. You okay, brother? Hey, wait. What you got, man? Oh, my goodness. Look at the screen. Wow. Tommy hooked the water buffalo. What you got? I think he's scared. He is. He's scared of Bill. <laughs> a bunch of craziness going Look on here. Look at that. That's, that's good. Go. Look wow. That stud. Horse. Stud, Rusty. There's no Rusty structure down there. Making fun of his Look at that. Let me get this guy. I think this is this is uh, Rusty's. That's Rusty's. Damn, you okay back there, Tommy? Yeah, Tommy, don't fall in now. We almost lost Tommy. 
All right, don't let, don't let, hit the teaser again. Tommy. Tommy. Tommy's killed, killing him with that teaser. All right, we're letting him, oh, John. We're letting him go. Look at that on the teaser. That's crazy. You need a camera on this one or you got one there? No, I need, oh, look, the spoon's gone. Nice, thank you, Kevin. On the teaser. Look at there. Look at that. Alright, well, anybody want to take this guy's picture? Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Two on the spool. Lordy, lordy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm treating him like he owes me money. Mm. Skip, he's yeah, man, green. He untangling. This, yeah. this the same one that was on the... Yeah. Yeah, yes, you missed. I, ju I just untangled the spoon. Look at, look at that. that. Oh, look at that. He had another one on the teaser. His spoon is gone, right broke okay. off, and he had the, his fish was on the on that little yellow teaser. Oh wow! Yeah. Straighten your eyes. She's pretty. She's pretty. Good job. Good job. Seriously, hey, swim right. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. Yeah. Thank you. She on? Yeah. Oh yeah. They're everywhere down there. Oh my. See how your brother did it? That was it. That was it. That was it. I sure did. Tommy probably had a double. Uh, did he eat the spoon, Tommy? Spoon was missing and the fish was on the teaser. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, the spoon was missing. That would be yeah. crazy. No spoon. That would be crazy to get yeah. two fish like that. I think that's what he did. And then two two big fish pulling against him. Yeah, snap one, snap the spoon off. Yeah. I think that's what happened to me. Could have been. I used to tap on umbrella rigs a lot. Nine hooks on an umbrella rig. Yeah. Pull up with two fish on it and seven straight hooks. <laughs> that's funny. Yep, you saw what that boat did, right? Yep. We're out, baby! He's up! Go. Oh, let's go! Oh, let's go, baby! Nice! That, that big, that boat. Rusty. Where's Rusty at? <laughs> Come on, get him in here. Hey, you're my cameraman. Why aren't you taking me a picture? Oh, I'll send you my footage. Don't worry, we'll share it. <laughs> you saw that boat stopped, right? Yeah, yeah I did. There. Oh, he's under you. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, you're I'm, I'm watching. over. I'm watching. Anyone hitting me? Uh, I can't see that good. You're I don't know. You're, you're, you're good. You're doing great. Beauty. Oh, yes, sir. It's a good one. It's a beauty. Yes, sir. <laughs> It's a good looking fish there, dude. Ooh, that's nice. I like it. It's going to be easier yep. for you to grab him. Woo! There we go. Close. Oh my goodness. Do I need to move that way? Uh, <laughs> toward the bow. No, you're fine where you're at. I just got myself. That is a snatcher. Look at that. Found a snatcher. Look at the size of that, guy. that is a snatcher. Oh man, this damn spoon is gone. This spoon is gone. Don't That's what I'm talking about, Bill. That is a Don't snatcher, you. baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a Come on, baby. Oh, hey, oh. we got another one. Oh, he's doubled up. Turn around. Look what? at that one. Big brother ain't taking it. Double duck. Let me get you some flag, man. He got all Oh, yeah. Look at the screen, Eric. Look at that snatcher. Oh. How'd that feel? How'd that feel? How'd that feel? Yeah, buddy. All right, well, let's get it back down. Let's do it. I think, the, I think the drag was too You got the hang of them now, right? Yeah, well, when they do that, they're probably in good shape. Gear, huh? <laughs> when they do that, they're in good shape. Oh, Let's go. Give me another one. Screen is lit. Let's go. That's Get it right, back right. down. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, Tommy's on. Girls coming up, walking up to the boat. I'm like, all right, gentlemen, pay attention. Somebody's wives here.
<laughs> Fish on. There we go. buttoned up. Fish on. Yeah. So you see how these fish are all hanging on the left side, guys? Nothing here, but they're all here. See it? There's nothing on the right, right. really, but they're all right. hanging here. That's because our spoons are all spoons. scoped out. So our spoons are all hanging out there, and you can see how those fish are just following the spoons. We'll stay with you for miles, guys, if you keep those spoons down there. Oh, where's he at? Good, good, run, Eric. Look at the screen. All right, all right, Bill, put her down. Put him down. Whenever you're ready. Yep, put them down. Yeah, the bow's clear. You guys can put them down. They're all back here now. Oh. Look at Woo! Uh, Mr. Whitey! Yes. <laughs> That's right. I almost took him off because I didn't have faith in him. You almost did, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's right. On the white spoon. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Look at that. He's hanging. <laughs> He's hanging. Pay attention. Eric, how you doing, brother? You need a hand? Hey, man. <laughs> the water's a lot clearer over here, isn't it? Yeah, it, was, it was a little muddier over there. What you got going there, Eric? Let's see here. You both know that bad? That yeah, that's a thumper. On the copper, old school copper. Copper. <laughs> yes, sir. It's a copper. And your boats all around us are all jigging spoons over here and laughing up a storm. Lots of fish in here. You're holding a camera. That's <laughs> all right. Ready. Go back to throw even more. Woo! Sir. You got a green fish there, Rusty. Ooh, listen to that. I heard that. Listen to that thing peeling out. <laughs> Woo! It was crazy though, because he took off and just swam that way. Yeah. Nice. Nice. That's on the golden silver. Oh. Ben Park. The old nice. people in nickels. Thanks, Captain. Good job, Rusty. Boom. Old school. Yeah, old school. Was that Bill or Rusty? That was Rusty. That was Rusty. Rusty. What's the problem? You quit on it? I'm resting. Quit on it? I had to get out of y'all's way. I'll be honest with you, and I'm not. Quit on I'm not exaggerating it a little. I don't think I could jig jig as long as he's jigged today. Oh no, you can't. I can't. I'm not exaggerating either. I, it kicks my butt, dude. I told dude. you before. I can't. My do shoulder it. hurts for for a week and a half. I can't do it. Hey, I can't feel tomorrow yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. Tomorrow's when you're going to feel it. Next week, I deal with it. All right. Tomorrow, you're going to do this again. The rest of the Oof. Gosh, punish you. Tommy's hooked up. Everybody switch to white spoons. Here we go. <laughs> well, that's not new. Tommy tells me that every trip. <laughs> this is the time. Look at the sun. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. 
These are all solid fish too, man. Oh yeah, well, yeah they are. You got two on a teaser, that's nuts. Screen's full, baby. <laughs> All those spoons out there, man. The spoons float out. Out over there, your side scan shows they're all right here. Did you see how they're all on this side? There's really nothing here compared to that. <laughs> you don't want no part of me, Tommy. Yeah, no, let, 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 let me do it. Look at that horse. Yeah. That's what paying attention gets for you. Right. Play him, keep that line tight. Woo! There you yeah, go. buddy! That's a pretty fish, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Woo! You're you welcome, are. brother. She's a beaut. She's a real beaut, Clark. A Thank you, Cap. What are you going to do? I'm going to release it. Hey, I used to work with my brother in law. Yeah, bro. It's my, it's my He's man. already got the line down. Bro, where are the stripers? <laughs> Tommy caught them all. <laughs> oh, no, he's okay with Is he all right? Write this cell number down. I'll tell you where they're at. 919-215-6. Call me right now. Nine one nine two one five six eight. I told the guy to call me. He ain't called. Isn't that funny how people can be better, struggling? Better than using the radio. Yeah. <laughs> See how a quarter mile can make a big difference, you know? Yeah. I tell you the truth, too, when you when I first when you would say something in there like that, and leave me a comment, I throw it out for my ski, yeah, I bet. Finally, one day I commented to you, and you asked me right back. I said, "God, he is going to answer." <laughs> it's been it's been uh, a whole trip for me, I tell you. <laughs> We just got off the water. We were fishing with our new friend Bill and his brother Rusty. They came all the way from Mississippi to fish a couple of days, and we got blown around a bit yesterday, but we whacked a pile of fish. And I just want to tell you real quick, uh, or Bill's going to tell you real quick about a little bit what he was going through recently, and I think uh, it's a really cool story. And it's just funny how you never know, you know, the little things you do and say, how they affect some people. You never know, you know? So this is a cool little story, and I just hope you guys get some from it. And we're going to let Bill take it from there. Okay. Well, uh, just a little over a year ago, I was driving to work one morning, and um, I just noticed a little, uh, my vision out to the side was kind of blurry, and I didn't think nothing about it. I had a little bit of a headache, and I, I had to drive an hour and a half or so to get to where I work, and uh, when I got out of the truck that morning and tried to walk, I almost fell, and my, my foot just went all kind of ways, and I managed, I knew something was bad wrong. And I managed to, to get in this, my friend's place of business, Marty. And I, I held onto the walls and, and got in there and sat down in his office and he was on his computer. And he said, hey bud. And I said, Marty, I need some help. And he looked up and he said, what's wrong? I said, I don't know for sure. My sugar, I'm a diabetic. And I said, maybe my sugar's out, it just needs to get straightened up. I said, but really and truthfully, I think I'm having a stroke. So he called. Uh, an ambulance and they took me to the hospital and sure enough uh, I was having a stroke and they had me do some things with my hands to test you know and push against them and stuff and they said it's not that bad it's probably on a scale of one to five with five being bad I was probably maybe a one and a half maybe a two so it's not that bad and said there is a shot we can give stroke patients but it's pretty dangerous uh, they make you sign a form in case you don't make it. But anyway, uh, I, I happened to know the doctor that I saw, and he said, Bill, I don't think no worse than it is that we need to take that shot. And I said, okay. Well, they got me a room, and as time went on that day, I was in and out. I would be asleep, and they'd wake me up, and say, hey, Bill, and talk to me. And I noticed after time, 
my speech was getting worse and worse. I don't sound nothing like I used to now, but I would talk to my wife and it was real blurry, black. And I said, baby, something, I'm getting worse. And she agreed. And I noticed I couldn't move my right leg and I couldn't move my right arm anymore. And so they rushed me in and did an MRI. And uh, my stroke was what they called progressing. So it had continued on all day and I got worse. And now the time limit had been too long to get that shot to help me out. And so uh, they found out by the MRI and stuff though, that the type of stroke I had, if they would have gave me the shot, I wouldn't be here today. And so I figured that the Lord was looking out for this old boy, you know, and man, I was in bad shape. I stayed in the hospital. I forget, a month or a little long, I don't know. And I, I stayed in therapy for a while, in, in live-in therapy. And then when I got home, they sent me to therapy. And cause I couldn't walk, I had a little old hemi walker I could barely crawl around on and stuff. <laughs> but I knew I had to work to get better cause there was too much stuff I still had to do. I couldn't just give up and sit on the couch and let what happens happen. I had to make an effort. And so I would work out and I would get to where I could move my hand just a little bit. And I graduate from there to where I tie a, a weight on it and I move it up a little bit more. And I tie weights on my feet and I pick them up. And I just work hard and work hard because I want to catch a fish, you know. Uh, uh, get out in the woods and be out in God's great outdoors and enjoy things. And uh, so I worked hard, but I'll tell y'all, it was real easy to just give up. I was in such bad shape. That thing affected my swallowing. Uh, my flap that closed off, everything I eat tried to go down my lungs and everything I drink tried to go down my lungs. And uh, it made my left side real weak. But uh, anyway, I, uh, insurance paid for therapy for so long and then it was no more. But I still had to work myself at home. And so I worked hard and it don't take long for me to get tired, I'll tell you. And so I did a lot of resting. And while I was resting, I found this guy right here. Uh, that stroke messed with my emotions a little bit too. Y'all give me a second. It's all right. This is Captain Mike Smedley, an old school striped bass fishing team. And I got to watching them videos and I said, golly, them guys got it going on. Man, I'd read the comments and I couldn't believe how much this guy wanted to help people to learn how to catch fish and to learn how to understand what they were looking at on their fish finders. And I said, man, I wish I'd found this dude 50 years ago because I look at mine and I know, well, it says it's eight feet deep. That's about all I knew. And he has taught me so much. Good gracious, I don't know it all, but what I do know is because of Captain Mike Smith. And uh, I would watch his videos and it would inspire me to get up and work harder. And so I would exercise and in my resting time, I'd watch videos. And I, he said, comment to me, I'll comment back. I said, yeah, he ain't gonna do that. And so one day I commented to him, I told him, I said, man, I had a stroke and I can't get out on the water right now. It's gonna be a while. He commented right back. He said, oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that, Bill. He said, but I'll be praying for you and you'll be back out there before you know it. And so I work even harder and harder. And I watch his videos, man, I just love them and all the guys in the videos. And uh, as time went on, I loved Mike's videos so much. I made a little short video and sent it to him just as a thank you for what you and these guys mean to me. And uh, when he saw it, he went and showed his team and he emailed me back in a day or two. And he said, <laughs> brother, we're gonna take you fishing. I go, we're going to take you fishing no matter what it takes. And uh, you and a buddy. And so long story short, I worked hard and worked hard and worked hard. And uh, I got a brother that uh, I asked if he would go with me. And so I spent the last little while up here in New Jersey with Captain Mike Smedley mm -hmm. and Team Old School Stride Bass Fishing. And I have had the time of my life. And I look a whole lot better than I am. 
I'm a lot better than I used to be, but I got a long way to go. But I'm going to get there, Big Mike. <laughs> yes, sir. Are. I'm going to get there. It. Old school, brother. Old school. Old school. It's, what's funny, what's so funny about this is he, Bill doesn't know, but at the time he sent me his video, I was really feeling sorry for myself. Oh, no. I was just making, working so hard on video. I mean, working harder than I ever did, adding cameras and views and angles and answering every question. And with the new changes they made, the views, right. views just going down and down and working hard and working hard. And then when he sent me that video, he said, here's a thank you for the video. I mean, it went for you because you make videos for me. That's right. Yeah. And there he is lifting the weight and climbing up into his boat where he couldn't climb into his boat just a couple weeks before. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I mean, said, what, what did that mean to you? Well, I mean, bro, what does that mean to you, you know? The same thing, to, it means the same thing it did to you guys because I forwarded it to everybody in the yeah. team. Yeah. And within 20 minutes, it was in the middle of the night too. Mm -hmm. Every response came back. We're taking him fishing. I said, I know it. <laughs> I don't think you had a choice at that point. So I told him, I said, whatever it takes to get you here. Yeah. Luckily, he's got a, got a brother. Amen. He's got a killer. Old school, brother. He's got an awesome Old school. older brother looking out for him. Younger brother. Young, younger, younger brother. brother. I'm oh, a baby. I thought, oh, <laughs> brother. That's even better. You never know that one little thing you say to somebody right. can change for everything, absolutely everything. And, I've been feel I felt a thousand times better for the last six months mm -hmm. from the, that first yeah. video. I even said I said God works in mysterious ways because I needed did. to see this one today, brother. Now so. we got two awesome friends here. They're already uh, they're, yeah. they're in the crew now, so they are in Team Old School. <laughs> we, <laughs> I ain't got enough fingers and toes to count the fish I caught. <laughs> Captain Mike Smedley and Old School Striped Bass Fishing Team. They the best in the world. In case y'all don't know. Mm -hmm. I want to say something. I don't. I don't Friend appreciate up. making you all misty like that. Ah. <laughs> Tommy get missed and ain't no way. <laughs> Bill started a YouTube channel. He's, he's posting more and more stuff. Bill Reddick. Outdoors. Bill Reddick Outdoors. R-E-D-D-O-C-H. That's right. Bill Reddick Outdoors. <laughs> Go to his channel, subscribe, say, hey, Bill, check in on him. He's a fisherman. Right. We look out for each other. Somebody said the other day when someone was on this, uh, they needed help. And they were like, I wondered if that fisherman helped. That's right. That fisherman helped. That's right. If I've ever answered a comment that helped you just a little bit, yeah. do me a favor and run over to his channel, subscribe, <laughs> send a message to oh, him, my. and check in on him. Just say, Bill, keep kicking butt. That right there is an incredible guy. That's, That's what you need to do. This whole group is. Man, we I mean, keep you, a family, straight family here. Bro. I've been doing this, I'm 50 years old, and you'll see the same four or five guys in the boat yeah. for all these years. It's because yeah. we're, we're all brothers. Matter of fact, everyone thinks we're brothers because, because I always say we're brothers, and I say, man, right. your mom had seven brothers, seven kids with seven. <laughs> Sure did. Say, yep, that's sure right. did. I don't correct them. I say we're brothers. That's it. All this do. I'm gonna climb out this. Yeah, boat you and need. Let get back you need to get some rest for sure. Yeah. Uh, I know you already did, but that's a hot. That's a hell of a guy right you there. You got man. that right. <laughs> Old school, baby. Old school. Yeah, yeah. Old school. I love you guys. Love you guys. Hey, love you. Mean it. That's it. Boom. Count that thing. We get in a minute. Boom. 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 Let's Thank get you, Captain. Yeah, Thank man. You. Let's get a group picture real quick. Yeah. Y'all gonna make one little boy's day for sure. What, I what, know. What's his name? Lincoln. Don't ask me how to spell it. I have to Google it. <laughs> which one you? I got. I got the lightest colored hats I had. You know that can. Yeah. So which one do you think up. you'd want? Uh. You got a visor. I don't know. Getting that C Pro. That one there. Yeah. Lincoln. L-I-N-C-O-L-N, is that the way you spell it? That's my wife right there. Oh yeah, oh very, wow. That's your wife? Yeah. Wow. She's pretty man, beautiful, she, dude. She looks young, man. Yeah, bro. <laughs> but hello, folks. This is Bill at Bill Reddick Outdoors. And since I've had this stroke, I can't get around too good in my John boat with putt putt. Because I can't walk from one end to the other. My balance is so bad and I'm so weak. But I can get around in my bigger boat. And so I've been looking for me a river that wasn't too far from the house. And I found this here. And I believe it's going to work. Ten foot deep right here. <laughs> We're going to be all right. All right, put her in neutral right there. Now it's just playing the waiting game. Folks. I got some here that's very special to me. If y'all can see that, that's a custom made rod from Mr. Rich Colson. It had first custom rods.
and also Captain Mike Smedley and the old school striped bass fishing team. They gave me this rod after they had invited me to come up and go fishing. And man, it's, it's a real special thing to me. And I went to a new place today and gonna try it out and see if I could catch my first fish. And I was successful, but I hope it's not an omen of what's gonna come in the future because they weren't very big. But we're gonna see if we can change that as time goes on. But golly, I had a good time. I really did. It was good to be back on the water. Look at here. <laughs> How about that? Mark said he can't catch no fish in the salt water, but you put him on the rib, he's pretty deathly on these little eater sized catfish. Mark, I believe I got a fish. You got him. Maybe, I don't know. Hey, Mark, tighten this up. I couldn't do it with my stroke hand. I got a fish on my new pole. <laughs> it ain't none of them 25 pound striped bass that I caught up there with my smelly, but it's a fish. <laughs> Golly whopper. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, come here, big one. Look at here. <laughs> oh, but it's a fish. <laughs> I think that's another tiny one. I got a knack for catching the tiny ones. <laughs> what do you think about that, Austin? <laughs> and that's Austin with Fishing Fever. I watch his videos. I get a big kick out of it. He, he's like everybody else, though. He catches a little bit bigger fish than I do. <laughs> Let me correct that statement. He catches a whole lot bigger fish than I do. And we're gonna try it here in a minute. I don't know if it's a good fishing spot or not, but it's a good shady spot. <laughs> I think it may be another golly whopper. Y'all ain't gonna believe this. <laughs> it takes real oh. skill to put a hook that big in a mouth that little. What about that, dude? <laughs> I always have preferred the smaller fish, but this is getting just a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> but I guarantee you one thing, they ain't nobody had much more fun than I did today. And always remember folks, whether you at work or play, I hope you have a nice day. This is Bill Reddick, Outdoors. See y'all. You pushed off with a cleat. Maybe you did it, man. No, it has. When you grabbed that cleat, the boat hit. I didn't grab the cleat, man. What are you talking about, John? We got it on video. I hope you're easier to get along with than they are.